we worked together. I came on and did, I think, one or two episodes of Spin City. And actually, right before that, we had done um, a movie together, and that Family Ties was the first thing. We did Bright Lights, Big City. And that was when we kind of reconnected. And um, it's great. You know, I love working with Michael, and um, we're very simpatico. And especially doing this kind of thing. This is, this is really his you know, forte. He's so comfortable with this kind of comedy and um, so it immediately puts everybody else at ease and I think he's just a great role model to f to follow when, because it's a very, it's a different type of acting doing this type of comedy. So I always feel really comfortable working with him in this genre. As they started writing scripts and, and they started talking about me coming in and doing something, I realized that it would be a really fun thing to do if I played a completely different character, which, you know, which, which is what I'm doing and, it's, and it's, I'm having a great time with it. I play um, a next door neighbor who moves in upstairs from the family and um, there she's newly single, so there's like a bit of a flirtation. She's kind of the sexy neighbor, which is fun. <laughs> we don't have that <laughs> in our apartment. But, um, but yeah, so it's a fun, different part for me. Well, I think what happens with, um, with Michael's character when he, he does, he's just not expecting me. He's expecting some old guy, you know, with a hearing aid and he comes upstairs because my television's too loud. And I think that um, it, she's very flirtatious with him and I think it's more that it's so complimentary to him to see that somebody is interested in him in that way and it just is so different than, you know, his everyday life. So there's just, you know, it's a very innocent flirtation. I don't know if, I mean, we haven't t spoken about me coming on for other episodes, but um, I'm having a great time with it. And so for, for right now, this is just really fun. It's loosely based on our family. And, um, but I would say the aspects about Michael are pretty spot on. The things that he says, his philosophies about life are pretty much the way he thinks. So, um, so it's great because it feels like we still have a bit of our privacy as a family, but the things that he believes and feels are pretty well portrayed. Oh, there are so many home stories that he brought. <laughs> um, Sam, our son did come back and live at home for a while, and um, and he was displaced. As May was proudly in his big boy bed, and he was in a little <laughs> corner of the apartment. Um, also, just like I said, a lot of Michael's philosophies. It's there's a big running thing about a lady had a baby in a tree, which is something that he always would tell the kids. So, just kind of his outlook on life and the the things that he says over and over and over again that we get tired of hearing or proudly displayed. <laughs> it's just a great group of people. And, all, you know, everyone who's cast in all of the family parts are fantastic. And, um, and this week and for a couple of weeks, my daughter is, is just working behind the scenes. So that's really fun. She's working as a PA. So she's never worked so hard in her life, <laughs> running around with a walkie-talkie and having a good time. No, she's not getting preferential treatment at all. Actually, I'd said to her the first day, I said, oh, they made me this really, really good salad. She goes, I know, I had to go pick it up and drop it off in your dressing room. I said, okay, turnabout is fair play.